What's going on everybody? It's just another day in the kitchen, back with another episode, and today we're taking an updated look at the billion dollar battle between Kanye West and Adidas. Now if you're not too familiar, back in November of 2022, Kanye went Death Con 3 and Adidas basically severed ties with him after he made some pretty wild statements. They've been kind of at a stalemate with Adidas not sure what to do with all of the remaining inventory. And in this last week, the CEO right here, Bjorn Goldman, made some statements and we're going to take a look at them. If you want to read the whole thing, feel free to pause the video, but make sure you stay tuned and you might as well drop a like and subscribe while you're here. Now, if you're not too familiar, the actual numbers are kind of muddy, but allegedly Adidas is sitting on over a billion dollars or $500 million worth of inventory that they really can't move. I think they finally realized that the only reason people were buying a lot of Yeezy models was because of the man himself, Mr. Kanye West, or as he likes to be known as now, Ye. And as you can see from Adidas' own CEO's mouth, he does consider Kanye to be a musical and creative genius, so I think they're very aware of how much they actually lost when they did sever ties with him. I'm going to be showing several quotes here, basically where he mentions the fact that they have a couple of options. Bjorn mentions that Adidas has the option of burning everything, which I don't think is necessarily the greatest thing, but it's one way for them to actually liquidate the inventory given that they're kind of reluctant to sell it, knowing that a lot of people are probably not going to buy it because it doesn't have anything to do with Kanye. These are some images of people burning their Yeezys a little bit earlier in the year, but I can't see Adidas actually burning a billion dollars in inventory and then risking somebody like PETA or environmentalist also getting on their case. Secondly, they then mention the option of possibly destroying it or basically donating it. That's another thing I definitely can't see them doing just because can you really imagine going to Goodwill and picking up Yeezys or Salvation Army? I think a lot of companies say that they'd like to do good things like this, and I do think that would probably be the best option as opposed to burning them. But again, I don't think I could see them doing something so humble. Uh, Kanye and his family gave away some Yeezys like this in this photo back in the day, but I don't think it's going to happen. Now, the big issue, uh, this is the headquarters in Germany for Adidas right here, is they're very strict and have some very strict laws that are anti-Nazi related. So they're not necessarily happy that he made those statements, and it makes sense why the relationship is shattered. You have to see it from their perspective, being a company located in Germany. It would be kind of poor optics for them to take back a guy that said very anti-Semitic things. And I do think that ultimately Adidas is in a situation where they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place because they know at this point that people were buying Yeezys for Kanye and it wasn't so much the Adidas brand, despite how legendary it is. Kanye's had a lot to offer both the sneaker industry, the music industry, and just everybody in general, and I think it's definitely not lost on Adidas. So my question to you if you've made it this far is, do you think that we'll ever see these back on shelves? Do you think that the relationship between them has been ruined? And what do you think Adidas should do? I personally, again, don't think that they should go ahead and burn all of those pairs. I think that they're better off donating them, whether they make it to kids in Africa, whether they make it to kids in America. Get rid of those shoes and let them go to the right people. Kanye claims that this is what he wanted at the end of the day, but as you've noticed, he's been very low-key and we haven't heard a whole lot from him since, so it makes me wonder. Do you guys think that he misses the relationship with Adidas, or is this simply another closed chapter for him? I think it would be silly to not mention the legacy that he did build and left behind with Adidas, and it certainly has eclipsed the work he's done with Nike. I think it would be a shame if he didn't get back together with them, just given that they have a lot more in store, but I think that he can also do something else on his own, so again, I don't think we've seen the last of him. Now, another thing that they claim is that if they do get back together, they will finally release or re-release these V1 Pirate Blacks, and that's something I would be very happy about. So if you agree, let me know in the comments. And if you made it this far, just to recap again, essentially what the CEO of Adidas has said in regards to the situation is that they have three options. They can either burn everything that they have, basically closing the chapter and taking the L, the billion dollar L. They can donate the stuff or they can basically sell things for kind of like a cheaper or at cost price and then donate those things to charities. I think either donating the proceeds to charities or of course uh, donating the actual sneakers to children or whoever needs them would be the most appropriate as opposed to burning them, but that's just me. So let me know in the comments what you think, what you think of Kanye, and thanks for watching guys. Stay safe and thanks for cooking with the kitchen. Peace.